Live from the Business Radio X studio inside Renaissance Bank, the bank that specializes in understanding you. It's time for North Fulton Business Radio. And hello again, everyone. Welcome to another edition of North Fulton Business Radio. I'm John Ray, and we're still virtual, folks. We're not back in our normal uh, hang out there at uh, in Renaissance Bank on Windward Parkway in Alpharetta, but we're looking forward to getting back hopefully sometime soon. Uh, in the meantime, if you've got a problem with your bank and that problem involves like you call them and all you can get is uh, some automated voice, you can't get a personal person to answer, a real person to answer the phone, um, you can't get personal service for your business and you need help, well, call Renaissance Bank. Go to renaissancebank.com. They've got 200 offices across the South with great folks ready to serve you. And if you need recommendations on somebody in North Fulton, I can give those to you because I work with them myself on with some of my clients, and they do an awesome job. Uh, so uh, connect with them, uh, renaissancebank.com, to find your nearest office. Renaissance Bank, understanding you, member FDIC. And now I want to welcome return guest and good friend, Ron Wilder. And Ron is with 1-800-WATER-DAMAGE of North Fulton. Ron, welcome. Thank you for having me today, John. Yeah, it's great to have you back. So for those that don't know 1-800-WATER-DAMAGE and your company, uh, tell them a little bit about you and how you serve the market out there. So 1-800-WATER-DAMAGE is a property restoration company. We're actually a business franchise under Belfour, which is the largest property restoration company in the world. We specialize in mold removal, odor removal, sewage cleanup, fire and smoke cleanup, and water damage cleanup as our core services. So it's just a blessing to go out and help individuals when those type of disasters occur. Ron, you let's talk a little bit about your journey. Um, because you, you've got some great services you offer folks, but I, I'd love it if you talk a little bit about yourself personally and how you got into this business. So about myself personally, I, I was blessed to start my service in the military. I was in the Army National Guard for about eight years. That was how I paid for my education, which was a, definitely a blessing. So I used the, those funds to actually attend the Ohio State University. So I'm an I'm a alumni of The Ohio State University, where by trade, I'm actually a certified public accountant. And I worked in that field for 23 years, but I always felt like my purpose was something else. And that was revealed to me several years ago. And so about three and a half, four years ago, I became an entrepreneur and looked at various business franchises and decided on getting into the property restoration industry because I thought that was an industry that needed to have some shining light in it to you know, be positive and actually go in and make things happen when people have disasters in their life. Well, and I know you and you're a bright light and thank you for that. So that, that I love that. So thank you for sharing that. Um, but, uh, you know, you decided to go in, toward an entrepreneurial stretch uh, or uh, direction in your life why 1-800-WATER-DAMAGE as opposed to all the other options you had, whether it's other franchises or starting your own business? What what attracted you to this franchise opportunity? The, big, the biggest thing that attracted me to the franchise opportunity, I met with, I had like a meet the team day up in Ann Arbor, Michigan, excuse me. And I met with some of the top, a couple of the top executives and sat down with them to really understand what they're vision was for 1-800 water damage and how they wanted to go about doing business. And it was just a great, great meeting. It, they were aligned with really focused on helping individuals when they're going through these particular disasters. Of course, everybody's in the business to make, make money, but really, you know, you have to have a passion for helping people. And they, they both of those individuals seem to have that passion. And so I, and, and again, one, and then 1-800 water damage part of our for who had a lot of resources. So it enabled us to really go and help with some of the hurricane work for over the last few hurricanes. And that's very, a, that's a very humbling experience to get out mm -hmm. there and help with hurricane work for those who have done that particular work, because you're, 
you know, you're accounting people when they've lost pretty much everything, especially with Hurricane Michael and a couple of the other hurricanes that we worked on. So that was really my driving factor, that their passion and heart, which align with mine, is to really help people when they're going through disasters. And you really are hitting folks at their lowest moment in, in a lot of ways, because that's so invasive. I mean, I, I've had a, a home that was flooded where my basement was flooded and it, you know, it is, um, it's wrenching, uh, mm-hmm. uh, to yeah. go through that. And, and, mm-hmm. uh, yeah. So you, you, you really hit people at their lowest moment. Yes. And we, we definitely have to keep that in mind because again, we're, we're in, first time we're meeting these people there have you know, water in their home or mold or fire and smoke from, from damage. So they're not in the best of moods. So we understand that we have tough skin and our job is to really be a, again, like I was saying before, a bright light to really come in and change the dynamics of all that and really educate them. That's where we have a free estimate that we provide to come in and really educate and communicate with the property owner, give them an idea of the scope of work and just really let them know what we're going to be doing, why we're going to be doing it. So they can have that information because, again, at that time, too, they're dealing a lot with their insurance company, trying to understand the coverages, you know, which we don't really get into the coverages per se. That's an insurance the insurance uh, deal to do that. But we're kind of, our job is to come in to explain to them what we're doing. So mm. that's a really important service that we offer to the free estimates to really give them a chance to to get that get that information to make an informed decision. So you alluded to it that your your name the name of your company may be 1800 water damage but you do a lot more than uh, restoration after water damage talk about the different uh, services that you offer Ron so yeah a lot of people think 100 water damage they just think of water damage per se you know we we actually work with real estate agents on odor removal when they actually have to have a the odor smoke odors a lot of times that go that comes into the homes before the real estate agents buy the sell the homes we go in and actually remove the odors for the for them the mold we do we do that too mold removal so a lot of times again we work with real estate agents and insurance agents and even property owners to actually make sure we're going in and do the proper mold remediation services based on the industry standards. And then the fire and smoke too is something that we also do perform. And so we also do those particular services. So we're much more than just your, the water damage, like our name says, we have the other services that we're, we're, we're able to help with also. Uh, Lots of folks out there that do, property restoration you know why why your company what do you bring to the table that makes you unique one of the big things that we always strive ourselves on is i mentioned a little bit before is we we offer that free estimate just to really be able to get in and actually talk to the property owner and really really educate them and communicate them and give them an idea of our personality we understand also that everybody is not necessarily going to be our customer, everybody's not going to prefer us as a vendor. You know, it's really going to be on us us to come in to really make that impression that we can make things better for them during the challenging time that they're going through. So it's like an interview. They're interviewing us while we're interviewing them and it may not be a perfect match. So we really we do we really do that to make sure that that property owner is is hiring us with legitimate reasons and understanding that we are you know, we, we will be following the industry standards. And if they're, they're wanting to deviate from that, that's a conversation we have right then and there. And then there's some proper processes we have to go through to do that. So really it's, it's really the biggest thing is us is just educating and communicating with the property owners to give them the right information that they need. A lot of times, you know, us in the industry in general, just come in and we do whatever work needs to be done without actually communicating or actually thoroughly communicating, over communicating with the property owner and really making sure they understand why we're doing different things. Yeah. Because again, you hit folks at a, at a really tough time when it's hard for them to listen. And, and so you've got to go out of your way to communicate how you do what you do. Right. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So talk a little bit about that process. So, I mean, my basement is flooded. I've got smoke damage, what have you. Um, 
how do you come in and make an assessment? How does that work? Um, when can I call you? Because what are they, you know, these things don't happen between eight and five, right? Um, right. Uh, t- talk a little bit about how an, an engagement with your firm starts. So again, like you mentioned, it starts with uh, getting the phone call and talking to the actually property owner, understanding what the damage is. And an important part of that too, is making sure that the issue the, that caused the damage is actually fixed because you know, we don't want to start the drought process, for example, for water damage, if you haven't fixed the leaking toilet, to leaking toilet, you haven't fixed the leaking refrigerator, you know, have, have, you, have you haven't fixed the, the, the water heater that's been leaking. So again, that's a new point. So first, our initial conversation is understanding, first of all, that the source issue has been resolved. And then the next thing is to actual, actually schedule us to come out to do an assessment, which a lot of times is a free assessment. So we'll go out to the to the job site. We'll have our moisture meters, which we use to see whether or not there's elevated moisture in the house. We'll have our infrared cameras just to see, look to see if there's any temperature differences in the particular uh, materials in the home. So a combination of those two things that we use to identify if there's any elevated moisture in the home. So that's from a water damage perspective. Now, from a mold removal perspective, we come out and do free visual inspections. Of course, that's just coming out and say, yeah, we visually see potential microbial growth or mold. But again, if there's a concern over elevated mold levels in the house, then you would bring in an indoor environmental professional or a hygienist to do air sampling, to take it back to the lab and actually analyze whether or not the home has elevated mold level. And of course, mold is everywhere. You just don't want it elevated in your home. So our services focuses more on the visual part of it, whereas you need to really bring in an indoor, environment, indoor environmental professional or hygienist to identify whether or not you have an elevated mold level in your home in general. And a lot of times we use their particular report to actually do revise our visual mold inspection estimates. So the property owner gets, uh, you know, gets the entire scope of work before, before they make a decision whether or not they want to hire us. And we always, we always advise uh, homeowners to actually get an indoor environmental professional or hygienist. And in general, those partic- that testing company really should be separate from the mold removal company because the testing company is responsible for providing the protocol and then to come back to do the clearance, re- clearance testing after, act after the mold removal company has re- performed their work. So important to have those functions different different companies for those functions. Great advice there from Ron Wilder. And he is the owner operator of 1-800 water damage of North Fulton. Uh, Ron, you, you mentioned homeowners, but I'm assuming you do commercial work as well. Yes, we do. We do commercial and residential work. A lot of our, a lot of our work now is, is residential, but we do also perform. We've had commercial jobs that we we've done also. So that's an area that we're, we're continually trying to grow in is that the commercial part of the business. So that's an opportunity for us. That's awesome. Now you have, um, I've got to get to the elephant in the room here, uh, because everybody wants to know COVID-19, how that's impacted, uh, people's businesses. How, how has that affected you? Well, we, we've had to actually stack up on a lot of the personal protection equipment, the masks, the, the actual cover, coveralls that we use. We normally would use those type of type of uh, safety safety clothing in general for mold jobs and other water jobs that where the water was contaminated. But now we've had to implement that across the board, even when we're doing you know a simple site inspection, because for one, it protects us, and for two. It protects the individual property owner. So we've stocked up at least 30 days of that, that particular, those particular safety, safety gear to make sure we have enough that we can go out and actually implement our job. And part of that too, we, we've, you know, as part of Belfour, Belfour did a lot of sanitation, cleaning services for some of the boats, you know, and so on and so forth. And so we, we have that particular technology too. And we, we also offer the sanitizing cleaning services ourselves. I mean, we haven't done any yet, but we've had several conversations 
uh, with people about sanitizing services. So that was another service I just didn't mention. Mm-hmm. But that's really just like a disinfection application on top of your normal janitorial type services. Mm-hmm. And so we've had, like I said, we've had a lot of conversations with people on what we do from a COVID-19 sanitizing services perspective. And that's just another service we've kind of offered because we already have the technology from doing mold removal work. We have a lot of that, you know, information already. We just kind of, we've used that to evolve that particular service. And that's another one that we actually offer that I didn't mention previously. Now, you know, I love it when, uh, someone says to me, uh, you know, they, with their, trying to protect their customers from COVID-19 and, and uh, they give the specificity that you just did. And I would imagine Ron, that part of your response is helped by being part of such a, a big organization that is on top of, you know, the standards and what you need to be doing. Correct. Right. I mean, the standards, you know, the information, the support that we get from the franchise or bill for is really, really tremendous. And again, it was one of the deciding factors that was used for, for me to actually enter into this business franchise and be a franchise business per owner. So, you know, it's been it's been a blessing thus far. It's been a, a great journey. And, you know, it's really a, a joint journey, journey, like I was saying before, because we're really focused on the passion is just really to, to help individuals and a lot of people say that, you know, they say, oh, yeah, my business is to help people. But really, the, the proof is in the pudding. What are you actually doing out there to help people? Mm. You know, that's really the big piece that is missing. So we can say all day that we're out there helping people. But the proof is in the pudding when we get out there and what we actually do, what our actions, what we're doing when the when everybody's back is turned. That is really key. And that's something we're really focused on. Mm. I love that. Um, now, one of the things that we we do here on business radio X is we always ask, uh, folks to, you know, give us ideas on questions, topics they want us to address. Mm-hmm. And you, you offered one that was unique and I'm shouting all this out because this t- to me says something about you because mm-hmm. you suggested a question that says, how would previous owners describe you mm-hmm. and, or mm-hmm. I'm sorry, previous customers describe you. Right. Um, I thought that's, I love that. So obviously you've got some previous customers that describe you well. Yeah. In one of those instances, we, we did a mold removal job in a, and a senior, it was a senior citizen's home where a contractor actually had taken advantage of her and really didn't build it to specifications. Mm. So we were able to come in there and really, you know, use our free estimate and really provide her information, which she was very appreciative of. And it took her probably about three to four months to get the funds to actually do the work. And then she brought us in to do the work in her basement. And, you know, the work that we did and the communication we had throughout that whole process and information, she still calls me to this day to check in on me during the holidays. She will call and say, hey, Ron, this is, you know, such and such. Just calling to see how you guys are doing, how your son is doing. My son is one of my lead tech, my lead technician, one of my lead technicians. So mm. he worked on the job as a lead technician on that. Mm. So she was really appreciative of that. And so that that to me is something that goes a long way and in, in, in indication that we're not just saying that we're out there helping people. We're out there actually doing it and people are appreciating it. Wow. What a great story. That's that's awesome. Talk about it as, as a business owner and for other business owners out there, you know, what your priorities are. I mean, how do you prioritize your day and your, your, the, your business? Well, the, the biggest, you know, priority, you know, we're, we're, you know, we're prayer warriors. So we stay prayed up is our first priority to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. And then from that, you know, I have three technicians that currently work with me. And so, the jo- my job primarily is to actually teach those guys every aspect of the business. So as the one day, you know, if my son doesn't buy the business from me and one of those other guys hopefully will. So I've done my job when they know as much as I know. And that's been my mindset throughout my career, wherever I was at, whoever worked with me, you know, they can tell you, you know, I would keep no secrets for them. I would share all the knowledge that I have 
you know, to make sure that they have what I have and then they can move forward to the next level. You know, and they're like, man, they're pretty young guys now, but they can't. They won't be able to go out there and do that manual labor they're doing currently now for the rest of their life. And they mm-hmm. understand that. And I understand that. So you need to give them some kind of succession planning for their lives. And this is the training ground to do that. So that's really, really an important aspect of the business of the business as an entrepreneur. You really explain something there that I think is important for a lot of business owners. I mean, they hear this, but they don't internalize it is making your business uh to where it can run without you because that's how you create a succession plan. And that's what you're doing. Congratulations on that. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. I, mean, I learned that at a very, very uh, early age, you know, even when I was in corporate America that, you know, the more I spread information and knowledge, the, the less information and knowledge that I, I'll have to keep and the more I can continue to grow because more or less, the more I share, the more I take in. Mm. So it's also for myself, you know, it's always a continuing increase in knowledge as I get information, I share it. And then it's like a revolving door. So a lot of times I don't think people think of it that from that perspective, which is unfortunate. Sure. Ron Wilder's with us folks, and he is the owner operator of 1-800 water damage of North Fulton. Uh, Ron, talk about how you define success. You know, the, the biggest thing, you know, people would sit here and tell you, you know, yeah, we, we have revenue projections we have to make. I understand that, you know, we all have to live, you know, everyday life. I understand that. But really, to be honest with you, if I could do this particular business and not get paid for it, that would be rewarding for me, you know, me personally. Now, success is always going to be in the world is going to be, a, you know, it's going to be defined by how well your revenue numbers, what's your profit numbers. And so that's a world kind of the world's view of your success. But the view from my perspective, from a success is what have we done to help people when they're going through disasters? And the next phase of that says, what have we, what have I done to help the team that I currently work with to get to where they need to be in their careers and where they want to be in, not more importantly in their careers, but in life in general. So you know, that's kind of a two part for me when I look at success, to be honest with you. Great stuff from Ron, Ron Wilder, 1-800 water damage of North Fulton. So Ron, for those that, uh, want to be in touch, uh, maybe they don't have a problem now, but they want to know where to get in touch. If they do have a problem, uh, give them, give them contact information and, uh, how they can, uh, connect with you. So the preferred method is my cell phone, which is 404-710-6752. Again, that's 404-710-6752. And again, this is a business franchise. We do have a 1-800 water damage number that a lot of people do call. And sometimes they don't get me. They may get another business franchise owner. So, excuse me, that's why I gave my direct phone number to reach out to me directly. So, you know, if anybody have any you know, issues or disasters as discussed previously, please feel free to reach out and we'll be more than happy to help you. Great stuff from Ron Wilder, 1-800 water damage of North Fulton. Ron, it's been great to have you. John it has been great to, to be on again. And I enjoyed my first visit and, and enjoyed this one even more. Thank I you. I appreciate it. Thank Always you. good to be surrounded by great people like yourself. Well, I appreciate that. Appreciate you, pal. Appreciate your message for everybody. That's great. Folks, if you need some other kind of help where you've got a, maybe you don't have water damage, but maybe you've got bookkeeping damage. Maybe you've got an office that's a mess. Okay. And you just can't find your way out of it. Uh, and you've got some administrative tasks that need to be done. Well, I've got an answer for you that involves picking up the phone and calling SE Escobedo. And she's the chief executive angel at office angels. And she has a team of angels who are heavenly. And I know this because I work with them myself on my own business that, uh, they come in, get the job done and fly out and they do it virtually folks. And they've been doing it 18 years. So COVID-19 environment is nothing new to them. So go to officeangels.us If you want more information or better yet, just reach out and call Essie, explain your problem and she'll uh, be glad to help you. 
442-942-9246. And folks, we are uh, on this show, North Fulton Business Radio. We're on all the major podcast apps, whether that's Apple, Stitcher, Google, Spotify. I could go on and on. But the point is, if you go to any of your your favorite podcast app and search North Fulton Business Radio, you can find this show and you can find our archive of shows on NorthFultonBusinessRadio.com. We would love it if you would uh, go to your podcast app and give us a great review because it helps folks find the show, which means when they find the show, they find great business leaders like Ron who and uh, support their work. And that's what we're all about is supporting of businesses in and around the North Fulton area. So uh, when you help us, you help them. So thank you for that. And follow us on social media, North Fulton BRX. We're on LinkedIn, Facebook, and Twitter with that handle. So for my guest, Ron Wilder, I'm John Ray. Join us next time here on North Fulton Business Radio.